Okay, this is part three of our series on startup scripts. And in this particular series, we will see on how you can create a startup script using the metadata. So if in case you want your virtual machines within your project to share the same startup script, then it is preferable for you to store it within the metadata rather than storing it individually for each virtual machine. So let's see how we can do that. So all that you need to do is you need to go to your compute engine and underneath that you will find the metadata so you can just open this and the settings remain the same all that you need to do is you just need to click on edit and we'll use the same metadata key so you can either use the startup script or the startup url now since you know how both of them work let's use the startup script the normal one to create a metadata key so let's just copy this of course this is also possible so it's based on how you want to create it so let's just use the normal startup script i'll copy this and let's create a new metadata I'll just copy this and let's get the script as well so this is the script so i'll just copy the script and i'll paste it here and i'll click on save so once this is done all that we need to do now is just to create our virtual machine so let's do that so let's go to our vm instance so any virtual machine that you will create will have access to that metadata. So you can just click on create instance. So let's make it an E2 micro. So if you want your virtual machine to belong to the free tire instance, then you need to always choose E2 micro. So that is precisely why I do that. And the next thing you need to worry about is that your boot disk should be standard persistent disk so you should always make sure that you change both these settings so click on select and you don't need to do anything else so let's just click on create so hopefully this will and yeah finally you also need to set the firewall so let's set the firewall to allow http traffic so that port 80 is enabled let's click on create now and let's try to access this so i'll just copy this and let's paste it in a separate And you can see that my Apache web server is enabled. So this is one way in which you can enable your startup script that is using your metadata. So the advantage now here is even if I keep creating multiple instances and if I forget to add the startup script, it will always pick it up from our metadata. So now let's do one more thing. Let's see what happens if we create another instance. And this instance also has a startup script at the virtual machine level. So let's click on create instance. And this time I'll again select E2 micro. Click on change. And let's select standard. Click on select. And this time what I'll do is I'll just copy this. And I'll go to the management section. And in the automation text box, what I will do is I will not add Apache 2, instead I will add Nginx. And let's click on create and let's see what happens. So let's log into this particular SSH and let's see the logs. Again, let's use this particular command to get all the logs. So I'll copy this. And let's paste this command. And if you check the logs, you will realize that it's the Nginx startup script that is the virtual machine startup script that has run and not the metadata startup script so that is one thing you must remember that your virtual machine startup script or the automation startup script that you have in your virtual machine will have precedence over the metadata startup script so that's it for this lecture if you have any issues with this please do not hesitate to get in touch with me and please also do not forget to watch the other two part of this series on startup script so i'll see you in the next chapter